To replace a string, I'll work with the harp lying on its back on the ground. The first thing you need to line up is all of your tools. Here's my tuning key, a pair of pliers, not essential but makes life a lot easier, a toggle, um, I'm not sure where the toggle that came out is, I think it flew across the room or it might be down the bottom of the heart, I'll fish it out at some point. And the wire. This is a reel of 0.6 millimetres, Markham Rose, yellow brass. This is the wire that I need for this whole octave above Nicorley. The first thing I'm going to do is to pull the old string off. I'm going to try and save this string because it's long enough to use further up that octave so it can go into my string bag. Then I'll turn the harp down onto its right side and this will give me access to all the things I need. The pin at the top, the shoe at the bottom, and inside the back of the harp. So, I feed the wire into the harp off the reel. I don't cut it to length first. So you see how this works. You just poke it into the front. and then grab it through the hole at the back. And so here's the wire that's inside the hub. I can tie the toggle to it. Because it's 0.6, that's thick enough to use the very simplest knots. You just go around the toggle once, and then you fold the wire back over itself in a hairpin. And then to make sure it's, it doesn't fall off when we're putting it in, use the pliers to pull it nice and tight. So there's my toggle knot, and then all I do, pull it through, I can cut it to length, I don't know, a few, five centimetres above the pin, just snap it off with the pliers, make a little hook, and then I'll turn the half up. You can hook the hook onto the pin. And then you can wind it up. That's it.